Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. In today's review video, I'm gonna be going over the new Nightcore P35i. This thing literally fell off a spaceship. I'm not kidding. It is the world's first dual beam system using LEDs and the new LEP technology that some flashlights have now, but this is the first one that has both. So it has LEDs for flood, and then LEP, one LEP laser flashlight for long range spotlight. Now, if you don't know what LEP stands for, it stands for laser excited phosphor. It uses a blue laser inside the uh, camera's body, bounces it, off, bounces it off phosphor, and it creates a incredibly long range white beam of light that you can hit up to a mile in ideal condition. So without further ado, let's jump into the darkness at night and see what kind of range I can get with this thing. Okay, so a quick little range test with the LEP portion of the flashlight. Unfortunately, where I live here in Seattle, it's hard to get a one mile straight shot in the complete dark. So I'm actually next to a busy highway, but there is a building about three quarters of a mile all the way down. All right, guys, I ended up muting the audio on my original video because the uh, the freeway was so bright but here i have the p35 turned on and shined at the building that's three quarters of a mile away and as you can see if i zoom in here you can see it reflecting off the, off the top there's something reflective on the top of that building i'll highlight it with a, a red arrow here but it's just reflecting green which is showing me the beam is actually hitting it because at that range it's hard to tell just if you are actually hitting what you're pointing at but, you know, again, that's an ideal conditions. This thing can go over a mile, but you can see so much uh, city lights there because I live in Seattle and we've had some fires, so the visibility is not the best. Okay, now we're gonna do a couple tests on the six LEDs, which are the flood. So I'm gonna turn off my main light here. There's five different levels. This is level one, easier to see in person. I can probably reach out about 30 feet on level one. I'm gonna head up to level two. This is 70 lumens. This is enough to start hitting the top of the trees. Now we'll go up to level three. This is 300 lumens. This is more than enough light. 300 lumens. Level four, this is 1,000 lumens. And level five, which is 3,000 lumens. Just lights up the night. So like I mentioned earlier, this is like the first flashlight that actually has a dual system, LEP and LED. So it has a mix, so you can use both of them at the same time. I'm gonna turn off my light here. Okay, this is 10 lumens, 350 meters it says. I'm gonna up it up to the next level, 130 lumens. It says 640 meters. You can definitely hit that tree there. And as you can see, we got the flood and the LEP. I'm gonna up it up again. Here's 420 lumens, 900 meters it says. And again, this is 3000 lumens. Full output on the LEP. Pretty cool to have a mix. So as you guys know, I am a kind of a flashlight nerd, a flashaholic, they call it. I have about over 15 different flashlights, all pretty high end. And I actually have an Ace Beam LEP flashlight. This was my first one. But the new P35i, again, is the first one that has mixed both in there, which really comes in handy so you don't have to have two different flashlights for two different purposes, flood and spot. Okay, now I'm gonna show you kind of how to operate this thing up close as well as do a quick unboxing. So let's do it. Okay, now kind of a close-up overview of the Nightcore P35i. Feels really good in your hands. Looks a little top-heavy, but when I hold it just like this, it's not a problem. It has, you know, a larger head on the end than the base here. If you hold it like this, it does feel a little top-heavy, but with my hands, I hold it like this, so my hand's right by the operation button here, mode selector, and it's not a problem at all. So, the six LEDs on the top can go uh, brightness increases all the way up to 3,000 lumens, as well as the uh, LEP has adjustable brightness up to 410 lumens, which I'll show you how to operate. It has a really nice 
OLED display. It looks like it's flickering on the video, but that's just because of the frame rate of my camera. But it shows you the battery voltage, you know, what distance you have and what mode you're selected on, you know, your current runtime, what output you're at. It's got, of course, a rechargeable 21700, 21700 battery with a Type C USB. Now it's actually pretty easy to operate the P35i. You have a mode button selector here and then a tail switch here to cycle through the different modes because this is a dual beam system. You can press and hold and then select at the end and switch between flood, mix, or spot. So let's just say it's on flood right now. If I turn it on, it's only going to be the LEDs. And then on the OLED display, it shows that it's on flood, what the runtime is, the lumen output, and then the meters. If you press and hold this button, it'll jump directly to turbo, which is nice, 3000 lumens, and then show you the runtime on turbo. If I press and hold and select the tail end switch, I'll switch to mix mode, which is where what I was showing you on my examples outside. If I turn it on, now we have both the LED and the LEP turned on. Again, showing you the uh, runtime, lumen output, and range. And then lastly, we'll switch to spot, which is just the LEP. Now to cycle through the power levels, level one, 25 lumens, you just press the mode button. Sorry, I was having trouble focusing here. Level two, 65, 130, and then 200, and then 410, which is the max output on the LEP, which is pretty darn bright. And like with most Nightcore brand flashlights, it's got an IP68 waterproof rating, which is good for about a two meter submersible, as well as a one meter impact resistant rating. Now, of course, like with most Nightcore products, it has a memory function. So when you turn it off and turn it back on, it'll default back to the previous setting, which is nice. Not a lot, not all high-end flashlights do that, which is kind of annoying because I usually find what setting I like the most. I like the mix on this one at about the medium level, and it's nice to be able to just turn it on and have it be right where you need it to be. Okay, now for a quick overview of what you receive in the box with the P35i. Of course, you get your main P35i head unit. You get a 5,000 milliamp battery, 21700. You get a battery tray, instructions. You get a flashlight holster, really sturdy, well-made. This thing's actually really strong. Has a belt this here you can attach on the belt if you need to kind of sidearm this thing. You get your Type C quick USB charger, little warranty card where you get a five year warranty. Love that with all Nightcore products. And then of course your tail switch. Now you know I'm not too familiar with the tail connectors but I can see how this could come in handy. You have all the operations but it's kind of on a remote leash. And I'm really impressed how it attaches. It attaches on the Type C here and there's a little clip actually so you can click this in and then it pops in where it will not come out and then you have operations right here through the tail switch. You can actually press and hold this and it'll switch to strobe, you know, control all the brightness levels. So kind of handy, you can switch different, uh, you know, the different operations all with this little tail switch. So something I'm not too familiar with, none of my other flashlights came with this, but I'm going to be excited to use this in the future. Well, everyone, let me know what you thought of the new P35i from Nightcore. If you've been watching my channel, you know I have a lot of Nightcore brand flashlights. I just love flashlights, but in particular, their brand because they offer some really cool products. They're really innovative and they come with, again, a 60 month, five year warranty. So if you'd like to know more about the P35i or any of the other Nightcore products, I'll put a link below to where you can purchase them from their website and or Amazon. Uh, please let me know what you thought of the new P35i in the comments section below and please hit that like button if you found this video entertaining. See you next time.